Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxfield, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Thursday, the 29th of December. It's 41 here in the square, which is wonderful. It's a sunny day today. The high will be 47 and the low tonight 26. And if we're happy for that, wait until we get to Friday, where it'll be sunny and windy with a high of 54 and a low of 27. <clears throat> then Saturday is uh, more seasonable and a little colder. Saturday will be sunny and 40, the high 23, the low. And then we have another beautiful day for Sunday. Sunny and 50 for the high, and it won't even get below freezing at night, it'll be 34. Uh, then we have uh, Monday and Tuesday sharply colder, Monday partly cloudy, 45 the high, but 14 the low temperature, and then on Tuesday, a real, real cold day, even though it'll be sunny, uh, 29 will be the high temperature, and 10 will be the low temperature. <coughs> so, uh, it's up and down weather for us here in the winter in Kansas. Well, we have uh, lots of birthdays to talk about because uh, Shepherd Center and a whole bunch of other places will be closed both Monday and, uh, and uh, Friday uh, because of uh, New Year. <clears throat> so, happy birthday for Thursday for Anna Minnis and Lawrence Gillespie. And then Friday, happy birthday to Linda Shields. Saturday, happy birthday to Linda Welch. And Sunday, happy birthday to Dina Williamson and Kathleen Ward. And then on Monday, happy birthday to Connie Chesbrough. We hope that you all have uh, really great birthdays, and at least four or five of you will have a really good day, while the other two are going to have really cold birthdays. <clears throat> and we have a lot of activities that are scheduled, and uh, some are the sunflowers, and some from the Recreation Commission. Uh, the sunflowers are having a carry-in supper, on, uh, on the 2nd of uh, a New Year, and it's at 6 o'clock, and it says, Bring Food to Share. And everybody in town, I think, knows the drill for that uh, supper. And then, beginning January 2nd, uh, the Sunflowers are having people uh, walk as groups if they can, and from 1 to 1.30 to 2 every day, uh, you can come over to the Sunflowers and walk together with a lot of other people, and that will be a good way to increase everybody's health in town, especially us older folks, it would be a good thing to go walking. So, over at the Sunflowers from 1.30 to 2 every day at the Witt Community Center. <coughs> and I bet if you go over there other times, you might be able to uh, to walk as well around the skating rink so that, uh, you know, it's, it's hard walking in the winter because everything is hard and you don't want to have something that causes you to trip. And a nice, clean roller skating floor is a great place to walk for safety. Well, we have other trips going on too, <clears throat> and the Rec Commission is starting off with a really great uh, uh, program for women, and it's Women's Day Out at the Hutchinson Mall, and uh, you can have a pedicure and go shopping. They leave at 9, and uh, they uh, are at the mall from 10 until noon. They have lunch at the China Star Buffet and possibly shopping at Smith's Market before returning to St. John. 
And uh, activities are at your own expense, and it's $7 uh, for the transportation. Uh, then uh, that's followed up by another trip to Soya. Everybody had such an interesting time going to Soya uh, to see the family food store in Soya. And I know I've, I've been to Soya a few times, and it's this wonderful place where you can get all kinds of uh, uh, kind of uh, traditional country uh, kind of things to eat there at the family food store and it's almost all alone by itself in Soya along with the elevator uh, and uh, it's a, a really interesting place if you haven't ever been there uh, it makes a good trip and you get to see uh, something really uh, good. Now, on the way back, uh, they'll have a quick stop at Simply Southwest in Pratt, in case people need to do some more shopping. And the cost is $7. <coughs> Unless I turn the page. <coughs> uh, let's see, the final trip is a pizza and a movie. <coughs> And that will be January 28th. But they can't tell us exactly which movie or where they're going to go to have a pizza and a movie uh, because it's too early to find out which movies are playing where. So as soon as they're able to do that, uh, we'll have another announcement for you about the movie trip on January 28th. Uh, later in the month, and there's a lot of January to go by before we get to the 28th, so we'll be sure to let you know about those things. <clears throat> well, that's uh, all of the uh, news and announcements. We do have uh, something, and it's a good idea to go to the fellowship meal at the Sunflowers, and today they're having barbecue rivets of garden potatoes and braised cabbage. And tomorrow, if they're open, which I think they are, they're having a vegetable soup with crackers, turkey, and a sandwich. And it's really important to uh, the city of St. John and to our seniors in the county uh, to attend, if you're a senior, and uh, attend these fellowship meals uh, so that we keep them available. Uh, you don't want to wait until it's gone before you experience it. Well, that's all the news and announcements we have. Shepherd Center is going to be closed on Friday and on Monday as well. Our next uh, session at Shepherd Center will be Tuesday. And uh, the word of the day is a good one to end the year. In an ever-changing world, may God's love enfold us and embrace us today and throughout the new year. Amen to that.